Tuesday, July 13th. I'm Natalie Del Conte and it's time to get loaded. If you use Microsoft Outlook, you can now integrate Facebook and Windows Live Messenger. This is part of Outlook Social Connector. It brings your social networks to the email client. So if your Facebook friend emails you, then you'll see the email as well as their Facebook photo and Facebook activity. These are Outlook plugins that come with updates to Outlook 2010. Speaking of Facebook, a man in New York claims he owns 84% of the company. Paul D. Siglia claims that he had a 2003 contract with Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg to develop the site. The contract supposedly entitled him to $1,000 and 50% of the final product, plus an additional 1% per day until the site was completed. Siglia's math puts that at 84%. Of course, Facebook Facebook claims that this is bogus. And why did the guy wait six years to say anything? While Microsoft claims to be working on several tablet computers to be released soon, it looks like BlackBerry is working on a tablet too. We don't know that much about it or even when we'll see it, but rumors are that it will have an 8.9 inch screen, two cameras, and support flash. It would likely run BlackBerry's yet to be released operating system, BlackBerry OS, and maybe even have a slide out keyboard. BMW is the first line of cars to integrate Apple's iPod Out feature on iOS 4. This means that you can plug your iPod or iPhone into your middle console and control music and applications with your car's own native buttons, which of course is much safer than navigating the device itself while you're driving. And Barnes & Noble announced Nook Study. This is a downloadable program that lets students access and organize e-textbooks as well as other course material like lecture notes images, workbooks, and your own notes taken either within the program or on the Nook. You don't have to have a Nook to use this, but you do have to be involved in academia. The program will open in August to students and professors only for now. A new technology turns water droplets into a 3D display that does not require 3D glasses. This comes from a project out of Carnegie Mellon University. Professors there were able to control the drop layers so that when the projector switches an image, it follows the patterns of the drop and lights them up as they fall, creating a 3D effect. So far, this has only worked on a 12-inch laptop, and professors don't expect to have it ready for mass market for at least another decade. That's your news for now. Thank you for watching. I'm Natalie Del Conte with CNET TV, and you've just been loaded.